come tonight. <laughs> Michael Benny was ill the day the earth stood still, but he told us where we stand. And Flash Gordon was there in silver underwear. Claude Rance was the invisible man. Something went wrong. They got caught in a cellular jail. Then at a deadly pace, it came from outer space. And this is how the message rang. Science fiction. Double feature. She was plain old Betty Monroe, but now she's Mrs. Ralph Hapshat. Yes, Janet. Ralph's a lucky guy. Yes. And Betty's a wonderful little cook. Yes. And Ralph himself will be in line for a promotion in a year or two. Yes, Brad. Hey, Janet. Yes, Brad? I've got something to say. Yes? I really loved the skillful way. You beat the other girls to the bride's bouquet. The river was deep, but I swam it. The future is ours, so let's plan it. So please don't tell me to can it. 
I have one thing to say and that's damn it, Janet, I love you. The road was long but I ran it. Janet. There's a fire in my heart and you fan it. Janet. If there's one fool for you then I am it. Janet. I have one thing to say and that's damn it, Janet, I love you. Here's a ring to prove that I'm no joker. There's three ways that love can grow. That's good, bad, or mediocre. Oh, J-A-N-E-T, I love you so. And let's go see the man who began it. Janet. When we met in his science exam, it made me give you the eye and then panic. Janet. I have one thing to say, and that's damn it, Janet. I love you. Damn it, Janet. Oh, Brad, I'm mad. Damn it, Janet. I love you. I would like. I would. If I may. Thank you. To take you on a strange journey. <laughs> well, it seemed a fairly ordinary night when Brad Majors and Janet Weiss <laughs> left Denton that late November evening to visit a Dr. Everett Scott, ex-tutor and now friend to both of them. It's true there were dark storm clouds towards which they were driving, heavy, Black and pendulous. <laughs> it's true also that the spare tire they were carrying was badly in need of some air. But they being two kids and on a night out, well, they weren't going to let the, a storm spoil the events of their evening. <laughs> on a night out. It was a night out they were going to remember for a very long time. Hmm. What's the matter, Brad, darling? I think we took the wrong fork a few miles back. Oh. We better go on head up the road and see if we can find our way. Oh. Oh. Darn, Janet! What was that thing? I think we have a blowout in the front left hand tire. Oh. You better stay here, keep warm, and I'll go look for help. But where will you go? We're in the middle of nowhere. I, I think I saw a castle a few miles back. They may have a phone we can use. I'm coming with you. <laughs> There's no point in both of us getting wet. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm coming with you. Besides, darling, the owner of that phone may be a beautiful woman. Yeah. And you may never come back. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Of 
the blackest night burning bright, there's a guiding star. No matter what or who you are, there's a light. Over at the Frankenstein place, there's a light. flag fly, I can see the rain just the same. There has got to be something better here for you and me. Janet. Oh, Brad, let's go back. I'm cold and I'm frightened. Just a moment, Janet. They, they might have a phone we can use. There's no phone in Castle Come on. Strange doorbell. <laughs> spot. <laughs> I wonder, uh, could you help us? Our car broke down about two miles back and, uh, well, uh, could we use your phone? <laughs> You're wet. Uh, yes. The rain has been very heavy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I suppose you both better Come inside. Hey, you're too kind. <laughs> you're too kind. <laughs> and so, after braving the inclement weather and some not too little time, it seemed that Brad and Janet had found the assistance that their plight required. Or had they? There certainly was something about this house to which a flat tire and a wet night had brought them that 
made the both of them feel a bit uneasy. But if they were to reach their destination that evening, they would have to ignore such feelings and take advantage of whatever help was offered. Right here. Excuse me. Oh, Brad. What sort of place is this? I'm frightened. It's probably some sort of hunting lodge for rich weirdos. <laughs> but you're shivering. Yes, I'm wet. Huh. Look, <laughs> there's hot air coming from the fireplace on the wall. Take off your coat and dry it here. I'll keep on lookout for the Undertaker. Ah! For God's sakes, keep a grip on yourself, Janet. But I'm right here. There's nothing to worry about, okay? Here, dry my coat too. Okay. Ah! Oh. It's all right, Janet. Look, hi, if we could just use your phone, then we can move right along. I'm sure that you've got lots to do and a great evening planned. Mm, yes, you've arrived on a rather special night. The master is having one of his affairs. <laughs> lucky old him. Yeah, <laughs> he's lucky, I'm lucky, you're lucky. We're all lucky. <laughs> I'll accept Eddie. Shh. Eddie? Shh. The delivery boy. His delivery wasn't good enough. Oh. <laughs> the master only wanted to help him better his position. Well, that's very commendable. <laughs> yes. It seems like just yesterday since he went. Where? To pieces. Janet! <laughs> 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 It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. But listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. Do it. Do it. Bring it in. 
Madison? Uh, come on, come on, Janet. Out, out, step touch, step touch. Brad, let's get out of here. It seems so unhealthy here. I want to go. Oh, we can't go anywhere until we get to a phone. This is, this is the Junior Chamber of Commerce, Brad. Perhaps they're foreigners with ways different to our own, and, and they might do some more folk dancing. Look! I'm cold, I'm wet, and I'm just plain scared. I'm right here, Janet. There's nothing to worry about. How, how do you do, I? I see you've met my faithful handyman. He's just a little brought down because when you knocked, he thought you were the candy man, didn't you, frick? Don't get strung out by the way I look. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm not much of a man by the latter day, but by night I'm one hell of a loafer. I'm just a sweet transvestite from transsexual Transylvania. Don't I show you around, maybe play you a sound? You look like you're both pretty groovy. And if you want something visual that's not too abysmal, we could take in an old Steve Reeves movie. Uh, I'm glad we caught you at home. Could we use your phone? <laughs> We're both in a bit of a hurry. Right. <laughs> we'll just... Tell them where we are and then go back to the car. <laughs> we don't want to be any <laughs> So you got caught with a flat. Well, how about that? Well, babies, don't you panic. By the light of the night, it'll all seem all right. I'll get you a satanic mechanic. I'm just a sweet transvestite. From transsexual Transylvania. So why don't you stay for the night? Night. Or maybe a bite? Bite. I can show you my favorite obsession. I've been making a man with blonde hair and a tan, and he's good for relieving my tension. From transsexual Transylvania. Uh, hey, hey, I'm just a sweet transvestite. From transsexual Transylvania.
Come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. I see you shiver with anticipation. to blame <laughs> so I'll remove the cause <laughs> but not the same time Janet, I'm sure. Uh, no bags. Uh, hi there. Uh, I'm Brad Majors. Oh. And this is Janet Weiss. Oh. My fiance, and you are? You're very lucky to be invited up to Frank's laboratory. A lot of people would give their right arm to the privilege. <laughs> people like you, maybe. Oh, I've seen it. Um, and is he, is Frank your husband? <laughs> Mind, unbind a lock. It's the same as the beginning of the end. Do you follow? No. It's an anagram, Janet. I wonder, may I offer you something refreshing? No. No, no you're right. I won't. How delightful it is to have fresh faces around. Columbia! Magenta, go and assist Riff Raff. I shall entertain. Uh, Brad Majors. Brad Majors. And this is my fiance, Janet Weiss. 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 Enchante. And what charming underclothes you both have. But here, put this on. They'll make you feel less vulnerable. It's not often we receive guests around here, let alone offer them hospitality. Hospitality? All we asked was to use your phone. A, a reasonable request which you have chosen to ignore. Don't be ungrateful, Brad. Ungrateful? <laughs> How forceful you are, Brad. Such a perfect example of manhood. So dominant. 
you must be very proud, Janet. Oh, yes. Tell me, Brad. Do you have any tattoos? Certainly not. Oh, well. How about you? Everything is in readiness, Master. We merely wait for you to give us the word. What's the word? Tonight, Brad and Janet, you are to witness a breakthrough in biochemical research, and paradise is to be mine! Oh, how wonderful for you. Yes, it was strange the way that it happened. One of those quirks of fate, really. One of those moments when the chips are down and everything looks black. You panic. You're trapped. There's no way out. And even if there was, it would be a one-way ticket to the bottom of the bay. And then suddenly, you get a break. And all of the pieces seem to fit into place. All that it took was a small accident to make it happen. An, An accident? accident? An accident! Yeah. That's how I discovered the secret. <laughs> that elusive ingredient. The sea spark. The spark <laughs> that is the breath of life. I hold that knowledge. I have the key to life itself. And tonight, Brad and Janet, you are very fortunate, for tonight is the night my beautiful creature is destined to be born! So roll up with the switches and the sonic oscillator and step up the power reactor input.
Now, really, that's no way to behave on your first day out. Well, nobody's perfect, but I'll say, you made a pretty good job of the body work. <laughs> you are a result of many hours of toil. And now, my beautiful creature, you are ready for the ultimate test. But first, meet the family. <laughs> Riff Raff, what do you think? He's a credit to my your genius. Magenta, what do you think? A triumph of the will. <laughs> Columbia, what do you think? He's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we can do better than okay. Brad and Janet, what do you think? Uh, well, I don't like men with too many muscles. <laughs> well, I didn't make him for you. Anyway. He carries the Charles Atlas seal of approval. <laughs> Maestro. <laughs> A weakling. Weighing 98 pounds, get sand in his face when kicked to the ground. And soon in the gym, with a determined chin, with sweat from his pores as he works for his cows. Thank you will make him glisten and gleam. And with massage and just a little bit of steam, he'll be fit, but quite clean. He'll be in good but the wrong shape. He'll eat nutritious, high protein, and swallow raw eggs. Try to build up his shoulders, his chest, arms, and legs. Such an effort, if he only knew of my plan. When in just seven days, I can make you a man. Ups and sit-ups, do the snatch, clean, and jerk. Thinks dynamic tension must be uh, awfully hard work. Such strenuous living, I just don't understand. When in just seven days, ooh, baby, I can make you a man. I really love that rock 
from the vaults. <laughs> Congratulations. 
Welcome back, goals. <laughs> Do pay attention. There are those who say, they say that life is an illusion and that reality as we know it is merely a figment of our imaginations. Why indeed? If this is so, then Brad and Janet are quite safe. But there are those who have a far more physical philosophy. Those who will stop at nothing to satisfy their base desires. It could be that Brad and Janet are among those who hold the devil's reins. Janet, everything's gonna, everything's gonna be all right. I hope so, oh. my darling. Oh. 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 I'm so afraid. You? I'm afraid so, Janet, but wasn't it nice? You beast, you monster, what have you done with Brad? Nothing, why? Do you think I should? You tricked me, I wouldn't have. I've never, oh my God. God, never! I know, but it wasn't all bad, was it? Not even really half bad. In fact, I think you found it quite pleasurable. So soft, so sensual. Uh, no, stop! I, uh, I mean, help! I, Brad! Brad! Yes, shh! Brad's probably asleep by now. Do you want him to see you like this? Like this? Like how? Like this. <laughs> it's your fault. You're the one to blame. I was saving myself. Were you? Well, I'm sure you're not spent yet. And it was an enjoyable experience, was it not? You did like it, didn't you? There's no crime in giving yourself over to pleasure, is there? We could try for an action replay. Oh, Janet, you've wasted so much time already. Brad needn't know. I won't tell him. Are you sure you won't tell him? Uh. Oh. 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 Oh, uh. Janet. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, Brad. Ah, oh, yes, my oh. darling. Oh, what if? It's all right, oh. Janet. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, I hope oh. so, my darling. Oh. 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 You! <laughs> I'm afraid so, Brad, but wasn't it nice? You fiend! You scoundrel! What are you talking about, Janet? Mm. Nothing. Why do you think I should? You tricked me. I wouldn't have. I never. Oh my God, never! I know, but it wasn't all bad, was it? Not even really half bad. In fact, uh, I think you found uh, it quite pleasurable. Oh. So soft, so sensual. I, uh, stop. No. Oh, oh J Janet, Janet, oh, oh, Jan yeah, Janet! <laughs> Janet's probably asleep by now. Do you want her to see you like this? Like this? Like how? Like this. Don't, this is your fault. You're the one to blame. I thought it was the real thing. Oh, come on, Brad, admit it. 
It was an enjoyable experience, was it not? You did like it, didn't you? There's no crime in giving yourself over to pleasure, is there? We could try for an action replay. Oh, Brad, you've wasted so much time already. Janet needed to know. I won't tell her. Are you sure you won't tell her? only. Two small words that kept repeating themselves over and over again in Janet's thoughts. But it was too late to go back now. It was as if she were riding a giant tidal wave. But it would be folly to fight against it. Her only way out would be to ride it out. <laughs> Adapt. And perhaps also survive. Oh, oh my God. Oh! 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 Where am I going? Oh! 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 It's you. Look, I've been hiding from my creator and his minion. They scare me. I feel that all is not well here. I can't help but think about it. Eddie, I have a feeling of foreboding. Oh, it's all like some terrible dream. Is it true you don't like a man with too many muscles? Well, are you I... wearing lip gloss? Uh, um, I'm engaged to Brad, Hello. just like Betty Monroe was to Ralph Hapshet. But Frank's case has overwhelmed me with an ecstasy I've never dreamed of before. Hot, burning kisses. What? I could see Brad's face and my mind screams, no! But my lips were hungry, too hungry. I wanted to be loved and loved completely, and my body just throbbed excitedly. And Brad, oh Brad, my darling, how could I have done this to you? Yeah. This room is a womb to me. There, you see? It's instinctive. We returned here for one thing. Sex. Security. <laughs> oh, where is Brad? What have they done to him? Janet's feelings ran wild as she frantically manipulated the selector switch on the TV monitor. The screen threw up images of empty and corridors. Finally, it stopped at Frank's bedroom. Oh, oh my God! Oh, Brad, how could you? How could you? If one is suffering from the pangs of remorse for a sexual indiscretion, it would seem only logical that the transgressor would be you know, sympathetic towards a loved one caught committing a similar misdemeanor, but 
irrational, emotion is an irrational and powerful master. And from what Janet had just witnessed on the monitor, there was little doubt that she was indeed its slave. Tell us about it, Janet. I was feeling done in. I couldn't win. I'd only ever kissed before. You mean she only ever? Uh-huh. I thought there's no use getting into heavy petting. It only leads to trouble and speed wetting. Now all I want to know is how to go on. I've tasted blood and I want more. More, more, more. I'll put up no resistance. I want to stay the distance. I've got an itch to scratch. I need assistance. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I want to be dirty. Thrill me, chill me, fulfill me. Creature of the night. Then if anything grows, well, you pose. I'll oil you up and rub you down. Down, down. And that's just one small fraction of the main attraction. You need a friendly hand, and I need action. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I want to be dirty. Feel me, chill me, fulfill me. Creature of the night. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I want to be dirty. Feel me, chill me, fulfill me. Creature of the night. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch me. I want to be dirty. Feel me, chill me, fulfill me. Creature of the night. Creature of the night. Creature of the night. Creature of the night. find him on the monitor. Oh, Magenta. Oh, Rocky. Oh, Rocky. Oh. Master, I've located him in the female's quarters. Oh, Rocky. I, I just, I think I'm going to faint, master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Watch it. That's it. It's over. Over? What was over? <laughs> Not the night, that's for certain. <laughs> Brad and Janet's engagement? <clears throat> Their love for one another? Who's to say? <laughs> for questions such as these are not to be answered by the academic. 
they must be left for the heart to solve. And Brad, Asshole. you can be sure, had plenty of heart. <laughs> Once in a while, she don't want to call you. Speaking on the telephone. And once in your life, she don't want to know you. You look around. The one you found, she is gone. Ah! Oh! <laughs> and that's all the time that it takes for a heart to turn to stone. The sweeter the wine, the harder to make the break You hear something About someone you thought you'd known Thank you So baby, don't cry like there's no tomorrow After the night there's a brand new day There'll be no more pain And no more sorrow So wash your face And phone my place It'll be okay. And that's all the time that it takes for a heart to beat again. Just give me a sign that a lover made you look around the one you found is back again is back again is back again is back That your baggage has dared to file, my beautiful creature. Uh, you did to her? Uh, mm -hmm. Master, we have a visitor. No! Oh, shit! Great Scott! Scotty! Dr. Everett Scott is here! You know this earth. This person. Yes, he's an old friend of mine. So, this wasn't simply a chance meeting. You came in with a purpose. That's not true. My car broke down, I told you. I know what you told me, Brad. If that's even your real name. But this Dr. Everett Scott. His name is not unknown to me. Well, he was a science teacher at Denton High. She's here down high. And now he works for your government, doesn't he, Brad? He's attached to the Bureau of the Investigation of that which you call UFOs, isn't he, Brad? He might be. I don't know. 
Master, the intruder is entering the building. Ah, he's in the Zen room. Namaste. <laughs> Riffraff, seal off all doors and exits except for those leading to the Grand Hall. And fetch Janet and Rocky. I think we should make this a social occasion. The three unexpected guests shall entertain us in a floor show, which I shall direct. <laughs> How are the seats? Good? May I join? The last show I was in was in fourth grade. In no snacks. Janet? Mid inter we had an intermission. Janet? I take tips, yes? Over there? Tips. Janet? No. We got to get out of here, Janet! Uh, okay. Hello. Oh, mercy. Oh. Oh. Games, Dr. Scott. It was part of your plan, was it not, that Brad Majors and his female should check the layout for you? Oh, hello, by the way. John. Unfortunately for you all, there is to be a change of plans. I hope you're adaptable, Dr. Scott. I know Brad is. <laughs> I can assure you that Brad's presence here comes as a complete surprise to me. Does it? It does. As does the machinery you have here. I didn't expect it to be quite so... Sophisticated, Dr. Scott. Or should I say, Dr. Von Scotter. What exactly are you implying? Say it didn't prove nothing. May I see that? This machine here. What do you think it is, Doc? At this precise moment, it's hard to say. But it seems to be made of a metal that is not of this earth. <gasps> I would say it was from another place. Janet? Rocky! Dr. Scott? Brad! Janet? Rocky! Dr. Scott? Brad! Janet? Rocky! Dr. Scott? Oh, Rocky! Oh, Rocky! Listen, I made him and I can break him just as easily. I'll pull his plug out. I suppose you intend to do with us what you did for Eddie. Eddie? I've seen him. He looks terrible. Uh, Eddie. What do you know of Eddie, Dr. Scott? I happen to know a great deal about a lot of things. For you see, Eddie happens to be my nephew. <gasps> Dr. Scott! That's right, Brad. My sister's boy. I knew he would have been with a bad crowd. But it was worse than I imagined. Aliens! <gasps> Tell him about it, Doc. From the day he was born, he was trouble. He was the thorn in his mother's side. She tried in vain He 
day she died. I'm spied dry from the day she was gone. All he wanted was rock and roll porn <laughs> and a motor <laughs> shooting up junk. <laughs> I did. Nearly robbed him. I said, hey, listen to me. Stay safe inside insanity. But he locked the door and threw away the key. But he must have been drawn into something, making him born. Me in a note, bitch, red. What's it say? What's it say? Oh, hurry, or I may be dead. <laughs> they mustn't carry out their evil deeds. Yeah, when he said he didn't like his daddy and knew he was a no good kid. But when he threatened your life with a switchblade knife, what a guy. Makes you cry. What I did. When he said he didn't like his daddy and knew he was a no good kid. But when he threatened your life with a switchblade knife, what a guy. I just defrosted him. His destiny is in the bag. Oh, God! Oh, oh. Uh, oh. oh God! Oh, 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 I'll throw him down the waste disposal. Clever girl. <laughs> my feet. There's something wrong with my feet. My veils. Oh my God, I can't move my veils. It's as if we're glued to the spot. <laughs> you are. <laughs> so quick with fear, you tiny fools. Okay. It's star time! Riff Raff, set the sonic transducer on program eight and secure our levels on zero! Relax! <laughs> you won't find Earth beings quite the easy mark you think. This sonic transducer, it is, I suppose, some sort of audio laboratory physical molecular transport device. You better believe it, baby. Uh. You mean? That's right, Brad. It's something we ourselves have been working on. But it seems our friend here has found a way of perfecting it. A device that is capable of breaking down solid matter and transporting it across space. And who knows? Perhaps even time itself? You mean he's going to send us to another planet? <sighs> planet, Schmanet, Janet. I'll tell you once. I won't tell you twice. You better wise up. Janet Weiss, your apple pie. It don't taste too nice. You better wise up. Janet Weiss, I've laid the seed. It should be all you need. You're as sensual as a pencil, wound up like an eon high string. When we made it, oh, did you hear a bell ring? You got a block. Take my advice. Oh, uh -huh. You better wise up. 
Janet Weiss. The transducer will seduce ya. It's something you'll get used to. A mental mind fuck can't be nice. You better wise up, Janet Weiss. You better wise up, build your thighs uh. up. You better wise up. And then she cried out, Stop! Don't get hot and flustered. Use a bit of mustard. in a molecular state, somewhere between entrance and exit. Um, when they've pulled themselves together, do be sure that they're ready for the floor show. My God! I can't take any more of this! First, ditch me for Eddie, and then you just throw him off like an old overcoat for Rocky! You chew people up, and then spit them out again! I love you. What? Do you hear me? I loved you. And what do I get? I'll tell you, a big, fat nothing. You're like a sponge. You take, 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 and drain others of their affection. Well, I've had it. I'm out of here, and I need. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I dig that. Thank you. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's wick, it's gas. <laughs> easy having a good time. <laughs> Even my cheeks hurt from smiling. Oh. That's the mustard <laughs> and my children, they're turning against me. I mean, Rocky's turning out exactly like Eddie. Did I make a mistake in splitting the brain between the two of them? Uh, he definitely was a man for his mind. <laughs> <laughs> when do we return to Transylvania? I grow weary of this world. Magenta. <laughs> I am indeed grateful to you and your brother. <laughs> River. Um okay. Um <laughs> and loyalty such as yours must be really? Siblings? Rewarded. 
And you'll find that when the mood strikes me, I can be quite generous. <laughs> I ask for nothing, master. And you shall receive it in abundance. Come. <laughs> Our guest will be growing weary. <laughs> and so, by some extraordinary coincidence, Fate, it seems, had decided that Brad and Janet should keep their appointment with... Dr. Everett Scott. But it would be in a circumstance <laughs> none of them could have possibly imagined. And just hours after announcing their engagement, Brad and Janet had both tasted forbidden fruit. This in itself was proof that their host was a man of little morals and some persuasion. <laughs> and what of the, the sonic transducer, hmm? And the floor show that had been spoken of? <laughs> what indeed? From what had gone on before, it was clear that this was to be no picnic. Great when it all began. I was a regular Frankie fan, but it was over when he had the plan to start working on a muscle man. Now the only thing that gives me hope is my love of a certain dope. Rose in my world keep me safe from my trouble and pain. I'm just seven hours old. Truly beautiful to behold And somebody should be told My libido hasn't been controlled Now the only thing I've come to trust Is an orgasmic rush of love Who rose to my world and keep me safe From my troubles and pain It's beyond me Help me Mommy, I'll be good to see. Take this dream away. What's this? Let's see. I feel sexy. Something's coming over me. Here it comes again. to cry. 
as I wanted to be dressed just the same. Give yourself over to absolute pleasure. Swim the warm waters of sin of the flesh. Erotic nightmares beyond any measure. And sensual daydreams to treasure forever. Can't you just see it? Whoa. Since the day I went away, goodbye was all I had to say. Now I want to come again and stay. Oh my Smile, and that will mean I may. I've seen blue skies through the tears in my eyes. 
moment I realize I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. Oh, don't cry. Oh, no. I'm going home Everywhere it's been the same Like I'm outside in the rain Free to try and find a game for sorrow and cards for pain Cause I've seen blue skies through the tears in my eyes and I realize I'm going Columbia. Oh, my sweetheart. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. And also presumptuous of you. You see, when I said we were to return home, I was referring to only Magenta and myself. You are to remain here. Well, in spirit anyway. Yes, Dr. Scott. A laser capable of emitting a beam of pure antimatter. Shut up! You mean they're gonna kill him? What's his crime? Why is it his crime? Oh, Brad. Right? You saw what had become of Eddie. You ran a few months these poor peasants. Exactly, Dr. Scott. Now, Frank and Furter, your time has come. So say goodbye to all this. Yeah. Goodbye, all of this. And hello, hello. to oblivion. Hello. Do your worst, inferior one. No, no. no. <laughs> did, did you do this for me? <laughs> Silly bitch. <laughs> Thanks. 
You saw the way things were, where they were going. You did the right thing. <laughs> A decision has to be made. You're all right by me. Dr. Scott, I'm sorry about your nephew. You should leave now while it is still possible. We're about to beam the entire house back to the planet of transsexual. In the galaxy of Transylvania. Go now. <laughs> Janet! Schnell! Our noble mission is almost complete and my most beautiful sister. And soon we shall return to the moon-drenched shores of our beloved planet. Sweet transsexual land of night, to sing and dance once more to your dark refrain, to take that step to the right. But it's the pelvic thrust <laughs> that really drops you insane. the time warp again. Activate the transit crystal! I've done a lot, God knows I've tried to find the truth, I've even lied, but all I know, deep down inside, I'm bleeding. planet's face, some insects called the human race, lost in time and lost in space and meaning.
night, double feature, picture show, I want to go, oh, 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 to the late night, double feature,